Blended learning is a blend of traditional learning with online learning. However, not all blends are created equal. In order to describe different types of blends, we need a framework for describing different kinds of environments. It can be helpful to think about the two extremes, the traditional classroom versus total online enrollment. What sort of system can we use to describe the differences between these two environments? The traditional classroom is just that, a classroom built from brick and mortar, hence the term brick and mortar classroom, which we often hear in discussions about blended and online learning. This is analogous to the way businesses talk about brick and mortar store locations as opposed to their online stores. In the traditional classroom, nearly everything takes place in a single on-site location, one place in space. There may be homework that's completed elsewhere, but the work must ultimately be brought back to that brick and mortar location to be turned into the teacher. In the traditional classroom, the teacher is really the one who delivers the instruction and is sort of the curator of everything the students get. The teacher might invite guests, show movies, share books or whatever, but ultimately everything comes from the teacher. The content delivery is offline or not online. Conversely, in a completely online environment, the content can be accessed anytime, anywhere. Location is not a factor and all of the content delivery is handled through online tools. So we've identified differences in location and in the method of content delivery. And these things might seem like they have to be linked, but that's not necessarily so. On this axis, as you may have already observed, um, we are charting things based on location on the y-axis and the content delivery method on the x-axis and we can chart the traditional school down here in the bottom left corner, on site, offline, and we can chart the cyber school up here in the top right corner, online, taken from anywhere. So given that, we're told that blended learning is really a blend between this traditional model and this online model. Um, so theoretically, blended learning appears somewhere in, the, um, in this zone here. Up here in the top left corner, we have content delivered anywhere the student wants, but in an offline method. So this might be a homeschool or a correspondence course, but it, it's not blended because there is no online component. So blended learning is this bottom right large zone of this chart. Most of what teachers are practicing in today's world is probably blended instruction somewhere in this area of the chart, the bottom left corner of the blended learning box. Um, the teachers are using some online content delivery, but for the most part, they still rely on students to be in attendance on site in, in a physical classroom. You will get some ideas that will help you to move up this direction if that's what you would like to do. Teachers can build curriculum where all of the content can be accessed anytime, anywhere, and students are able to sort of work in their own way at their own pace, and then class time is used for interaction with the teacher, um, where the teacher can give help with projects, answer difficult questions, um, and this is um, one way to describe the flipped classroom model, which we will discuss much later in the course. And so those are where you're getting into this content is all online, and you have different um, amounts of reliance on the traditional environment, um, including all the way up here where a student can theoretically jump into and out of a cyber version of the course, depending on their needs. Um, and that's where some of the, the more advanced school districts and teachers are, where the course is sort of um, agnostic to delivery method and the teacher can work with it either way. So that should give you an idea of what blended learning is and how we can describe different blends. If you'd like, you can check out some additional optional videos which will give more details about my definition of the blend, um, including discussing things that are not blended and talking about different tools that uh, make up the different kinds of blend. In my next podcast, I'll talk about the benefits of blended learning. Thank you for watching.